your life. Let's go. What is an MC? Let them see the honest truth. Is it a world star gimmick or a comic spoof? If I'm a loop, then it's probably due to my common view. The prophet due to talent. If niggas doubt it, then I'm the proof. If I'm a recluse, then I'm a reduce what people think about me. I'm so obtruse, these niggas can't even blink without me. Very thought of me, arguably I get deeper. My skills intimidate, so I stop seeking out features. Discreet but explainable. And Sway told me that rappers who spit know that you spit, so they stay away from you. And I try to show these niggas respect You got all the hype in the world But look at me as a threat You're insecure, this is pure Hip-hop, I see clear Features for locksmith And that means that we peers I tell these haters, keep clear I did more in New York in three weeks Than most niggas in three years The minute I entered the state My mind state was instrumental Some niggas, they told me to wait I couldn't relate, I felt crippled It's simple The more you try to reach for the impossible The more you start to see That some people become an obstacle How could you ever try to doubt what I've been doing? Try to follow your dreams And people pray upon your ruin Pursuing what I feel is necessary I'm one step now from legendary They say J. Cole is home, Drake is Wayne in the bottle I guess I'm like in the 2000s Hey, hey, once again it's the awful and I'm back Welcome to another episode of Two Ball It's the Uncle Briss album review show Couple days ago we know it dropped Everybody's listening to it Everybody has their thoughts on it I'm here to give y'all my thoughts on a new album by my man Kendrick Lamar Untitled, Unmastered. Before I get into that, y'all know how I do. I'm going to tell y'all about what I've been listening to all week. My pickups. R&B has not been good in these past few years. So, when I see an artist like Tweet come back out with Charlene, I definitely had to hit the download button. Please don't miss out on this. This is some good R&B music. It's a lot of trash out there in the R&B world today in the R&B scene this is some real good soul R&B music speaking of trash speaking of trash speaking of trash in R&B I downloaded uh, the new Brian McKnight album better and I can tell you it was worse okay all the Brian McKnight fans enjoy that all by yourself cause I won't be chilling with y'all on that um, at two change featuring Little Wayne, uh, College Grove. I could tell you it does have a couple bright spots. It's a lot of ups and downs within the album. Um, I do like the dedication song. Uh, I like the fact that he dedicated a song to someone while they're still alive. Two chains dedicated the song to Little Wayne. So I really appreciate that about that. Um, but you know the album is okay. Um, and my man Smoke Dizz is back with He Has Risen. I could tell you. If you're looking for bars, you don't want to miss out on this. And the Dreamville representative who gets no credit whatsoever, Boss. He's back with Too Hot a Riot. And let me tell you this. You better add this to your collection. Because if you don't, you're going to be missing out on some beautiful music. Great hip-hop. Great messages. Um, this boy, he, he got so much to say. He touches on all aspects. You know, as far as police brutality. As far as... Uh, uh, you know, being a sellout as far as just everything. I mean, you, you, every every aspect of the game, politics, whatever, you is is covered on this particular this particular album by my man Boss. Too hot to write. So I'm gonna come back to y'all with my thoughts on the new Kendrick Lamar album after these messages. <laughs>
is the same Mama, A pleasure for me Charade, twist in the fist Stick hair all in my face Oh, whoa, you track alert first, okay? I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. Please, I know the album ain't out yet, but when I heard this track, Tabernacle, by my man Royce the 5'9", on his forthcoming album, Layers, please, this, this song is just so real. It's one of the realest songs that I've heard in a long time. Um, it, you know, it talks a little bit about, uh, uh, well, it talks a lot about the truth within Royce the Five Nines plight in trying to become an artist it goes through the death of his grandmother the birth of his son and his performance and meeting Eminem all in the same night this track is just so real and please download it find it somewhere I got mine off of iTunes you don't want to miss out on that I can't wait for Layers to come out if he's doing something like that. And I'll be back after these messages. One time for my niggas still riding with me. Two nuts for the niggas who colliding with me. Friendly foe, nigga, I don't give a now. Cross the line, nigga, it won't be a touchdown. I'm the motherfucking nigga now who disagree. In the ministry, so I don't need a click with me. Self-made, turn nothing into something, yeah. Solid nigga, nine days, it's a yeah. Niggas shooting at me with subliminals I guess they done forgot that I'm a criminal I question niggas' hearts like an interview Cause they be always talking what they finna do But I let the chopper talk back No wreck the nigga, shoot the clip and call rap Respect a nigga gangster, still in all black If I ain't black girl, what the f*** call that? Listen, come on y'all, how can I not talk about, even though it's been a few days, give y'all my thoughts on the follow-up to, to Pimple Butterfly by our homeboy Kendrick Lamar. I'm talking about Untitled, Unmastered, eight tracks of gritty, dirty music that is unmastered, but still good. I'm going to run through the tracks, I'm not going to run through the dates, but I'm going to give y'all my thoughts. Please leave your comments on what you think about this album and if your opinion coincides with mine or whatever. Um, Untitled One, produced by Hit Boy and DJ Spins, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, I love how the album begins with these with these warnings and these biblical references. Um, and, and I love how he tells the young boys at the end, you know, get what you think is good for you before it gets snatched away. I like that. Um, Untitled 2, produced by Young Exclusive and Cardo. Um, you know, I just love how he breaks down more of the dumb stuff that we concern ourselves with, um, you know, as black people or just as human beings in general. Um, I love how he, he, you know, he gives that call to God. He says, you know, I see jigaboos, you know, us being clowns. Um, I see styrofoam, you know, us thinking that getting high off this syrup and all that is the thing to do. Um, so I really, really, it, it, I love that track. And at the end, he talks a little bit about his relationship with TDE and the direction that they going to go. I like that, Kendrick. Um, Untitled Free. I love this, how he breaks down each race. Um, you know, he explains what, what we think makes us content in each race, you know. And I love how when he talks about the black race, it's centered around meaningless nonsense and when he talks about the white race it's centered around them being content with living off of our fruits of labor which they make into their fruits of labor i love that um uh untitled four featuring scissor little interlude um i won't really get into that um untitled five featuring anna wise punch and j-rock this beat i'm sorry y'all Bananas, all right. Um, you know, you hear like this heavy percussion, um, these like jazzy horns, and it's just another song of pain. You know what I mean? And J Rock, he bring it on 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 every track. Um, Untitled Six, I really really love this song. I was so surprised to hear CeeLo, you know, on the chorus. Um, and it's just basically 
a, a song about you know you not thinking something about me let me explain to you you know what's going on with me or why I am the way that I am you know the chorus says that and also Kendrick's verse um, says the same thing when you're trying to talk to a young lady let me explain who I am all right um untitled seven I mean it's like what two songs three songs and one um the, you know the beat comes in banging you know what I mean and basically how he talks about things that you know we think is going to get us high but can't get you high is getting that money and then uh, in the middle of the of, of, of the of the song it switches and you hear him say you know young Egypt which is Swiss beats five-year-old sons who five-year-old son I'm sorry who did the beat the drum pattern on this particular beat amazing I can't imagine how this young boy is going to be 15 20 years from now if he's working with greats like Kendrick Lamar already um Untitled 8, you know, you hear that, that nice West Coast feel, that nice West Coast beat. And, you know, I love how he breaks down how, you know, he's talking to a, to a young lady and she's chasing that paper, but she's still sad. You know, regardless of how much money you get, you still be unhappy because of the way that you're getting the money. I, I, I love that. Um, and I love at the end where Kendrick talks to our self-pity as humans um, you know as we take the easy way out you know trying to get success or trying to get money and we don't give it give ourselves a chance to be blessed because of the, the fast way that we want to get things so I'm gonna rate this and I'm gonna be out of here this album is dope please add it to your collection even though it's dirty I couldn't imagine if it was mastered or even if it had two more tracks on there you know it would have been one of the top albums of the year uh, again, uh, two years in a row for my man. So, I definitely had to call my auntie on this one. Please, leave your comments below. Subscribe to the best YouTube channel on the planet. Two bars. The Uncle Briss Album Review Show. I'm out.